Another good area to look into is the Material tab. Here's how the Material tab looks for this work order. Again, areas in red are required. But using the Material tab, we can actually post any of our materials, whether they're spare parts that we have or parts that we have to go out and purchase. For example, I have a, a belt that I will post on this work order. First thing is to do is fill out the issue two. This is going to be your username, unless it was someone else who wanted to post it. Also, post the date that you use the material. The billing code is typically going to be standard. The type is you're going to be issuing. The product ID. The product ID will pick from a list of materials that you have available in your storeroom. At this point, we only have a single belt. Also, you'll need to select the storeroom. We, but after selecting the storeroom, we can see that we have 300 belts available. Let's post three belts to the work order so that we can then show that they were used. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that the belts were posted and that there were three of them that were used. If in turn you decide, well, I only needed two of the belts, you can actually do a return in almost the same process. Selected the belt, selected the storeroom, selected one for the return, click save, and down at the bottom now, we'll show that we returned one, but also but had originally checked out three. Sometimes you may run into an issue where you need to go out and actually buy spare parts. This is when you want to, would want to select a non-inventory item. As we know, you can't fix anything without duct tape. So I will use duct tape here. The cost was $3.59 a roll. I purchased six rolls. Click Save Material. And it will post it to the work order for you. And that's it. That's all you need to know for posting materials.